Time to introduce the TMK's new grapple saw. So key features, weighs about 650 kilos without the rotator, 750 kilos with the rotator, uh, cuts up to 55 centimeter trees. That there is the big D, like you might know. But basically this is quite plug and play system. We utilize the TMK's wireless system, which is run with Makita or Milwaukee drill batteries. So you just plug here, the normal drill battery. This one is with Makita legs. And then a transmitter comes to the excavator. Don't know where the transmitter box is now. We'll show it next time. But uh, <coughs> there's only one adjustable thing here. Otherwise everything else is done with wireless. You need at least one double acting hydraulic line and one case train to operate the saw. My personal opinion, it's better if you have a separate line for the rotator and one for the grapple saw itself to make it more agile, if it, if it makes sense. And the little difference is, oh, here we have the wireless stuff. So I'll, I'll show the wireless. So this transmitter comes into the comes into the excavator box, uh, excavator, the excavator cabin. It has the cigarette lighter power source stuck that in the secret lighter and then we have the strip buttons already attached to this one and then if you have three buttons in your joysticks you can put them in the connectors right in there so it's very plug and play easy to set up and off you go to work and the little twists that we have also in this one to make it a little bit more tmk style we also have here uh, option for a little branch blade so all the little stuff you don't really want to run the saw to just plug that in there and with this pin you lock it in place and now you have a little tree here so you can take the tops of the trees the little branches little brush you can clean with that one so you don't have to run the saw there to risk losing the chain from the from the bar and then when you're ready just slide it up put it back and it's out of the way just with one pin and then here on the side, now that the grapple saw is laying on the ground, I can put it in the right place properly. But here you can put the splitting plate and now you can work it as an axe. So if you want to make firewood, you can just saw them in the right size, right length, and then just split them right away, save some axe work. And then when you're ready, this is the normal transport position is to put it here like this, locked with a, just one bolt and ready to go. Or you can put it also back here if you wish to like ha have it like that. Automatic chain lubrication, uh, hydraulic chain tensioning. What else? I think that's the most important bits. Hardox 400 frame, 500, all the grapples and most important bits. So it's built to work, quite heavy duty. The strong saw cassette box to make sure that the saw sa stays safe and a good heel on the back here to help move the excavator around. So rather robust sturdy simple to use simple to set up grapple saw for the market this is now in pilot phase so we're looking to get more work under the belt for this model as well to find the little tweaks that we want to do tweaking on so if you're interested to give it a go let us know and we'll see what we can do and then it's time to introduce the TMK's new hold and cut tree shear. Uh, key features, cuts up to 35 centimeter trees, weighs 650 kilos without the rotator and with the rotator about a ton. And then we have two moving grapple arms, which has the counter plates at the bottom of the, of the uh, grapple arms to ensure that we get a little bit of pack cut on the trees and also to ensure a clean scissor-like motion for the blade to go into to ensure a clean cut. And the main cutting plate is here, inside here, pivoted here, so it slides out like this and to cut the tree. The frame of the shear is made out of Hardox 400 and blade and all the most heavy duty pieces or the pieces under most stress are made out of Hardox 500 to ensure this long, long lasting lifetime and sturdy structure. And TMK style we have here, strong, strong heel, to help move the excavator around. The cutting cassette is very bulky as well, strong, durable, can withstand the weight of the machine and make sure it doesn't let go. And <coughs> through TMK style also we have different cutting cylinder options. This one here is equipped with the TMK's HD cylinder to maximize the cutting force on the, he on the hard trees, especially hard trees. But if your machine is kicking out the higher pressures then you can have a smaller cylinder back here and therefore faster cutting movement. Can be equipped with rotator as well and can be run with just one hydraulic line with the TMK's wireless box or wireless kit or you can have 
separate hydraulic lines for all of the each of each different um, motions. So, so there's a lot of tailorability that we can do. Yeah, I think that's the most important things. If you're interested in about the Holden Cut, it's now published and it started the pilot phase. So we're looking for customers who are really putting it into work to provide some feedback. So if you're really interested, give us a give us a call or contact us through the website, work forms or smoke signals or whatever suits you best. And let's see if we can come into agreement.